Hi everybody, it's Ron and Debbie and we're back for another edition of Ask Ron this week. Alright Ron, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, our first question is from Hector Acasio and Hector says, hey And Ron, where is Hector from? Hector did not tell us where he's from. Bad boy, spanky <laughs> spanky Hector, we gotta know where you're from. Alright, go ahead. Okay, hey Ron, how are you? When wholesaling a junker to an investor who's going to fix it and flip it, who mm -hmm. does the title search? Well, you should do the title search before you wholesale it, but frankly, if it's a bank-owned property, you don't need to worry about it. Uh, they've already done it for you, and if your buyer's got any sense, they'll do their own anyway. So it's not, not your concern in this case. Any other time, though, you absolutely want to do a title search before you even solicit for buyers to make sure your title's clear. Bank-owned property went through foreclosure, and you can assume that it is. If it isn't, they'll discover it when they do it. Okay, next question from Dave DeWert, and Dave's from Indianapolis. Hello, Dave. Okay, regarding wholesale leads. So, I sorry, sorry you lost Peyton, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, regarding wholesale leads, I understand that a source of good wholesale deals are investors who are doing bulk REO buys. I have not found a source for a listing of bulk buyers. Can you offer any suggestions? Yeah, Dave, you're wasting your energy looking for bulk buyers. First of all, they're not going to talk to you. They don't need you. They buy them in bulk, they're going to sell them in bulk. Who are worrying about that? Uh, pie in the sky stuff. All The only source you need to buy properties that you want to wholesale is right through the MLS system using realtors. And check, see if you've got listingbook.com in your area. Listingbook.com, because now they can come right to your desk every single day. Literally, never leave your desk to make offers on all the MLS properties that you want. And if you will go back to our archives on your membership site, you'll find a whole lesson that I did on listingbook.com where we were live on the site. That's exactly what we do here. Okay, next is from Bruce Moore regarding credit repair. Okay. Are there any reliable credit repair companies that you are aware of? I know of some, but also many stories of ripoffs and pay for not really much results. Can you yep. help me out on this one? Well, you're correct. There are a lot of ripoffs and... Um, Frankly, I do know some good ones, but I don't have their their name at the top of my... Well, here I've got one. GlobalCreditRepairAndRestoration.com GlobalCreditRepairAndRestoration.com I know that to be a good one, but there's a lot of others. They're just not in my brain right now. So maybe, Debbie, we ought to actually read these questions ahead of time before we do this in the future. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just a thought. I don't know if we've ever done that before, we've, Ron. <laughs> we, we, actually, don't rehearse here, guys, just so you'll know. I don't know what the questions are until she asks them. Okay. All right. Well, that was our last one for this week, right. Ron. So. Okay. See you guys next week. Hey, if you haven't registered for the Information and Internet Marketing Boot Camp yet, make sure you do. It's going to be one heck of an event coming up in August. I do not want you to miss it. And you may not even know why you need to go, but trust me, when you get there and spend four days there, you're going to be glad I talked you into it. I'm telling you, a lot of lives are going to change here in August, starting on the 23rd when we do that event. Plus, my restaurant is open. See ya. All right, guys. See you next week.